Okay, hey guys here. Wait, who? Okay. Hey guys, Bruce Bros here. I'm back today with another motherfucking video. Oh, my dog's at, looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. But, um, today I'm back for another video. My actual first real video. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for clicking on the video, first of all. Thank you to the people that subscribed already. I think we're at like 12 or 13 subscribers. It's not a lot, obviously, but it's good because it's only been like a week so and we got like 10 11 likes on the video and like 60 something views so that's that's actually kind of good for me I, I'm, pr I'm proud of it i'm proud of it it was a really short video but whatever so yeah i want to thank those guys that did all that so thanks um okay so today i actually have a story time video a story time i'm gonna be one of those guys I'm not gonna do this all the time. I'm just, I'm just, I just really want to tell you guys about this story. It's pretty fucking crazy. All right. So this shit happened back in probably be probably back in April. Yeah, it was April. It was over at Apple Blossom, and there was this huge party like going on. This is like the second time going to this guy's party, and this guy. I'm not gonna obviously not gonna say any names because I don't want to incriminate anybody, but. This one guy, he, he's a little bit older, but you know, he's got his own place. He's got, he, he holds his parties in the basement of his house and it's pretty lit. Like he's got like a bar, speakers, couches, pool table, everything, you name it. Did I mention my man's had a stripper pole in the middle of the room? Like a $6,000 toilet, which is pretty dope by the way. If I still have the clip, I'll put it, I'll put it, I'll put it here or somewhere here. I'm changing colors, bro. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> this show is fucking changing colors, bro. This is fucking crazy. So, me and my friends were like, yo, we have nothing to do over spring break. Let's let's go to this. Let's hit this party because I heard it's going to be crazy. So, me and two of my other friends, we start heading to this party. We go and eventually we arrive. We go down to the basement. There's hella people. We're walking down to the basement door and there's already hella people you can hear the music inside and keep in mind this is in a neighborhood so it was pretty sketchy but you know we were just trying to have fun and um so basically what, what this guy was doing was he was charging people at the door i think he was only charging the guys and not charging the girls which is kind of whatever but um, I fucking finessed my way through that joint, yo. Man's was trying to charge me 10 bucks, yo, 10 bucks to go to a party that'll probably last like two hours. So I was like, oh, skirt, nah, I'm not paying 10 bucks. I was like, yo, I, I've already been in here. I just can't, I just went to go get something from my car. And he was like, for real? I was like, yeah, keep in mind, I, this, this was the, this was the first time, like, I've been there that night. So I just finessed this shit. And um, this man, he lets me in. My my dumbass friends, they pay the ten bucks because they don't know how to finesse. So you know we're in there, hella people. They make you take off your shoes. It's just dark, hella lights, everything. There's people from like, there's like freshman year old people to college people to even older than that. And everyone was just messed up, messed up. It was pretty crazy. So basically everyone's just enjoying the party. You know I'm out there talking to people and shit, like doing my thing. And um, you eventually you hear knocking on the door. And I was like, oh fuck. And keep in mind, I do not want to get in trouble with the cops. Like they started knocking. And the owner, he got up in front of everybody and said, yo, just, they can't come in here. Don't, don't freak out. Just, just do your thing. Just relax. They can't come in here. And we were like, okay, okay, that's cool. And so the party goes on for like, like a few more minutes, 20 minutes maybe. And then knocks start getting louder and it's getting pretty crazy. So everyone was just like, fuck, what do we do? Cause a lot of people there were like drunk and shit and probably high off whatever they get high off of. They started knocking hella loud. So everyone just cut off the music, turned off the lights and everyone just sat down on the floor. You know, everyone was still turned, but um, there was, they told everybody to sit down. Everyone was just chilling. And um, eventually, you start hearing like the door frame, like crack, like just start getting knocked the fuck down. I got fucking paranoid as shit. I was like, yo, I cannot let my dad find, find out I came to this party. Oh shit, if he sees this, oh shit. Oh, who cares, I already passed. But um, 
So eventually what happens is the door starts, you can hear the door cracking, like it's being broken down. And keep in mind, we're downstairs, there's probably like a hundred heads there. That's a lot of people for the size of the basement. And I'm like, fuck, yo, I can't, I can't. And I was with my friends and I got up once I heard the cracking and I ran upstairs. There were people on the stairs and I was just stepping over them. I was, I hauled my ass upstairs and I turned around I saw them behind me and I was like, okay, they're just following me, so we're good. But when I got upstairs, I didn't see him at all, like coming up the stairs. So I just, I was just walking around upstairs and through the windows, you could see like the cop lights. So you could see the cop lights through the windows and shit and like people knocking on the door. It was fucking crazy. And I run over to this one room and there's dudes in there and everyone's just trying to hide because no one wants to get in trouble, right? We're all just trying to have fun. And there's dudes there, they're like, what the fuck do we do? What the fuck do we do? And there, in the room that we were in, there was two windows. There was one window that overlooked um, the basement door and there was concrete down there. So these mans were like opening the window saying they were gonna jump. I was like, yo, scared. I'm scared of heights. I'm not trying to jump and land on that and fucking break a leg or something. And there's, there was another window on the other side of the room that led to the bottom of the house. It was pretty fucking high, but it was on the grass. At least it landed on the grass. So, um, you, you eventually hear like the door opening, the front door and like flashlights and shit. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I opened up the window and these dudes were already planning to jump over the concrete, the one, the window over the concrete. You guys, you guys do your thing. I opened up the door. You know what? I crawled out. I was like, fuck dude, I'm scared of heights. I hung over. I was just hanging on it like this, just out the window, just dangling. And I was like, oh shit. And I dropped. And then I probably hit like 10 fucking things on the way down, like electrical boxes, window sills. I don't even know what the fuck I hit. I ended up landing, right? And as soon as I landed, like my leg twisted or something, it fucking hurt, but I was good. And I lost the shoe. Oh, and it was raining and it was raining. And since it was raining, um, you know, I was all wet and shit, but I was like, fuck it, dude, fuck my shoe, I'm running. So I ran away, no idea where my friends are, no idea where, the, where my friend that drove there was so I was like fuck a fuck so I run off there's a sheets near there I run to the sheets on one shoe and I call up my girl at the time and I was like yo can you come pick me up and keep in mind this was at like three in the morning and she was like she was with another friend and I was like yo can you please come pick me up so eventually in like half an hour she comes and picks me up so bless her if you're watching this you know who you are well she made me drive home but anyways so I get picked up right and next thing you know, I get home, I fucking crash, I'm out, I'm tired, I'm just not feeling good. I wake up the next morning and realize that my friends that I was with, they got caught up and they didn't leave till like, probably till like six in the morning. Because turns out that everybody that got caught in the house, they breathalyzed everybody, 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 everybody. So like six friends that I know got caught, they got charged with like alcohol or whatever. And my friends were luckily good though. So they didn't drink, so they were they were good. They were let off let off go, but they got they didn't leave till six. Six in the morning. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I got I got so lucky. I jumped out a window, bro. I jumped out a window. Like a two-story window. I could have broken something. And like turns out the dude that was hosting the party, they like they had a, a warrant for his arrest. And they searched the house and they found like boxes of money. They found like uh, drugs. They found like in one of the bedrooms, there was like a tripod with like a camera set up towards the bed. So that was pretty sketchy. Um, and it was just crazy. Like the dude was like on the newspaper for like our, our town. And it was, it was just crazy. Like everyone knew about it. Like so many people got in trouble. Like they were making like parents come out there and pick up their kids and shit. It was fucking crazy. But so I luckily got away with it. My friends got away with it. So everyone was good. And, or the friends that I came with were good. And so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That wraps it up. I mean, that was probably one of the craziest parties I've ever went to. I haven't gone to a party since then. So that's how like traumatized that was. I was like, yo, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not trying to get in trouble. And that was it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Crazy ass story, crazy ass story. Um, it was from a while ago, but it's, that's all right. So I just wanted to share that for you guys because some of the people watching this were there. But thank you guys for watching. Again, if you liked it, leave a like. Um, so yeah, so I know what to put out for you guys, um, and that's pretty much it. Subscribe, follow me on um, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Everything will be down there, link down there. She's a bad thing. Finding the hell, think it's fuck. Oh my god, that's my baby, Caroline, you divine.